Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be turning this into something or some things. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it might be interesting. You might have already seen the video title that might have given you a hint. But if you don't know what the video is going to be about, stick around, watch it. They're never super long and they're never taking up that much of your time. So enjoy. So I feel like it's a good time to fill you in on what I'm doing. So the two rings you saw me doing, um, they're sanded, they're both identical. And they're both sanded up to 600 grit. So basically today's video is going to be showing you the difference between polished and matte finish and just the process behind it and what a proper matte finish looks like and a proper polished finish looks like. I'm not going to go into detail about which one's better, which one's whatever. It's more preference and whatever your lifestyle is. So, you know, if you are if you want a polished ring, it's going to get scratched up easier depending on the material. So, then if you have a matte ring and it, then if you get scratched up, it won't scratch up as much. So, that's my very dehydrated uh, lesson on finishes. And obviously, finishes are very vast and you could list them forever. But today we're just doing these. So we're gonna go ahead and do one polished and one matte finish, and you'll see what that looks like. And then at the end, I will talk about it or not.
saw me make these two identical rings in every single way except for the fact that one is polished and one is a matte finish. So you're probably thinking there's not very much difference in the process but if you were paying attention you'd see it's a whole nother step. So you do the sanding and the polishing for the polish finish and then you do the sanding, the polish and then your matte finish however you're gonna choose to do that. So it's a whole nother step added and obviously you guys didn't see a lot of the sanding. So it's a lot longer a process if you wanna do it correctly. People don't do it correctly all the time. Uh, there are obviously multiple ways to get from point A to point B but that is the best outcome if you follow that way. So I'll go ahead and show you guys these up close and um, then you can kind of see the comparison. This is just aluminum, so it's some, some uh, matte finishes vary depending on material um, hardness, I guess, and uh, you'll see that. So let's see, we're gonna start with the polished one. There's a lot of fingerprints on there and it's already getting scratched up because it's aluminum. But um, you can tell the difference, obviously. Let me see if I can wipe this off again. Yeah. So there's a lot of deep scratches now. Uh, I obviously didn't sand as much as I should have just because these are demonstration rings. Let's see. So matte finish on this just kind of looks really even and plain. So the reason I honestly prefer is matte finish is because polish uh, finish reflects light a lot more whereas this one kind of reflects it more evenly. So it's a lot nicer looking on the ring. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. I'm kind of running out of simple ideas for me to do. Uh, I'm trying to make some simple videos before I have to leave because I'm heading out for like two weeks. So I want to be able to have these videos filmed and edited before then. So that way I can keep the consistency. Uh, as for the future, it's looking pretty crazy. Uh, I have a lot of really cool ideas and a lot of really fun ideas that I think are gonna be pretty cool for the channel. So if you have any ideas that you want me to do, then comment them as always, I read them. Uh, the last video I did was uh, based on a comment, so it might just be a video. Stay tuned, I'm only getting better at this, and hope to see you guys in the next one.